Book Land, how are you guys doing tonight? I'm so excited to be here. I'm so freaking pumped actually because I got lots of things going on, but I'm so happy to see you guys. And as you're coming on, I'd love to hear where you're from and just drop in and say hi. And I'm so excited about tonight because I'm really feeling so connected. And so, guys, as you're coming on, come and say hi to me, but tell me where you're from. I'd love to see who's here today. So hi there, hi Carolyn. Oh my God, it's no so nice to see you guys. And you can tell it's getting a little darker here. We're a little overcast in Sudbury, Ontario, which is freaking Northern Ontario. It's really, really up here. And I have posted a guest link, guys, so just to let you know, I'm taking live guests tonight. And if you don't know what the heck's going on, well, let me fill you in. My name is Jay Lane, and my real name is Joseph Yvonne. Like, what the hell is that? But that's why I call myself Jay, because my mother called me Joseph, the Father, Jesus, and the Mother of Mary, and stuck a hyphen in between it. And Yvonne was my very crabby grandmother. Sorry, but she was. So that's why I took the initials of my name to make Jay. So a lot of people from school, that kind of thing, they know me as Joanne or Josephine, but uh, I got teased a lot in school, so I don't use that. And um, so I'm using JJAY, makes my life so much freaking easier, but that's me. And I'm a psychic medium from Northern Ontario. Hi everybody, it's so freaking nice to see everyone. Oh my God, I love you guys. But I'm from Northern Ontario. I was born uh, a long time ago. We're not going to go there. But um, my mother was a practicing psychic between 1961 and 1983. So let me tell you that, um, you know, let me tell you that it was not fun growing up with a freaking psychic mother who read tea leaves and who had eyeballs all the way around her head. It was no picnic, but I'm gonna tell you, I learned a lot from her. And so I was immersed in this lifestyle. This is all I know. We used to talk about ghosts. We used to talk about the paranormal. We used to talk about aliens and spaceships. We used to talk about so many things. I used to love supper time. Because we'd sit there for hours while my dad was picking the rest of the food out of our plates, <laughs> but it's the way it was. And uh, we would just talk about stuff like that. We would talk about different clients and not that she would talk about readings, but she'd just talk about situations. And my mother was very, very gifted. The police used to ask her to help find bodies or find people and she was really good at it. So uh, she had gone in and done that a few times, so which was amazing. And I was really lucky because you know, I've been like this since I'm a kid. I was always very open about it. And uh, my mother was amazing with me. So I was really lucky. But she taught me quite a bit. And she taught me especially how to trust my feelings and my emotions. So and what I'm sensing and all those good things. And so what I do is I tell you what I hear, what I see, what I sense, what I smell. And I tell you what I'm getting. And, you know, it's up to you to have an open mind. Uh, guys here, if you've seen me do readings and you love me, go put in a review for me, please. Five stars, yay, one star. Forget about it and what I'm talking about. So don't do that to me. <laughs> but anyways, guys, just to let you know, if you have had an experience here, please go put a review down on my Facebook. I'd love you forever. I had taken them off for a while. Yes, I got my hair so super chopped, but... I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. So I'm really happy. But yes, new little haircut. Yay for Jay. It's a good day. Um, but guys, as I was coming back to you, I just tell you what I hear, see, scent, smell. So I don't know who the hell is going to come visit me on live. So be good if you come on live. But what you need to come on is either headset or some earbuds. Yay. And you need, okay, Chrome browser. Because if you don't use Chrome, I can't see it. If I can't see it, I can't talk to you. And that's as simple as it goes. If you don't have this headset, as they say in New York, forget about it. You know what I'm talking about, right? And and I don't know if I do a good New Yorker, but tell me if I'm screwing it up. But I'm trying to practice because I'm going there. And I can't wait to go there. And my friend just left on tour, actually. I think she's going to L.A. So, so hopefully she'll be back from her tour by the time I go visit. Hi there, Danielle. It's just so really nice of you guys also to drop in. But guys, as you're coming on, could you please do me a little favor and share this? Because I want everybody to be able to tap into this. Now, guys, also be very, very aware that I might be giving somebody a message 
but you might be able to really relate to that. Spirit is like that. They do silly things. So, and I would take that as a sign or a very clear indication that your loved ones know that you're watching this. Now, guys, um, I can't pick everyone, but I will try my best to rotate from the comment section answering questions. I'll post the question up and I'll answer it. Please, if I'm asking you a question, respond quickly. If you don't know the answer, say not sure, don't know, whatever, but just instead of not answering at all, because if I don't see anything, then I have to wait like another 10 minutes. And if I go, oh, we don't want to do that. So look at all the people coming into the green room. So anyways, age is just a number. I look amazing. Who the hell said I was old? <laughs> so anyways, no, I just decided to go shorter because you know what? It's just easier to take care of. And I just mess it up like this, like that, see? And it stays all day long and then people think I'm trendy but actually I just I wear hats and stuff and I don't have time to take care of my hair so this is it <laughs> so guys you know as you're coming on hi Joanne all the way from Florida lucky you but it's really nice to see you guys so listen I'd be starting on that maybe I'll pull a card maybe I'm just gonna tell you what I'm getting but please play back and forth with me answer my questions I'm not trying to dig I'm just trying to validate I'm also gonna be seeing people here in the green room kind of excited about that and as a result of that i'm going to be um you know just talking to them i might take one on i may take three on at the same time who the hell knows what's going to happen but guys again if you're related i'd love to see a family and if you're related let me know in the chat box that you've got a sister and a brother and i'll bring all of you on but come and see me now share 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 if you care 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 but just share okay so terrace bay holy shit! like that is freaking north or what okay hi carrie it's so nice to see you and christine look at the freaking hearts okay and let me see so everybody's here so far, like I want to get it to like 275 because I'm telling you, there was someone on the other day I was watching live. It was so boring, honest to God, 300 viewers and I was yawning. And it's not because they weren't nice people. I'm not going to tell you what they were doing. They could have been cooking, but Jesus Murphy, it was freaking boring. Okay, so let me see. So hi, Gina. Oh, my God. Yes, you can, Charlene. So let's get started. I've talked enough. So guys, just share. I've got an event coming up here. I'm doing Trusting Your Intuition with me. And it's going to be over at the Lexington Hotel on September 23rd. And I'm really excited about it. It's from 2 to 4 p.m. afternoon Sunday. What's better than that? Kids are back at school. And by then they have friends to like keep busy or they're doing homework. For Monday so you're going to want to come and spend some time but I have just limited seats left it's small it's not big and I did that on purpose because I want to spend a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with people so trusting your intuition is all about learning about your clear senses and guess what you have them too you just nobody ever told you you did so you have them too and you might not have all of them but I'm sure you have a couple and I teach you how to tap into that and with those little spidey senses you start feeling really good about decisions for your life you just start feeling better about yourself period so guys 96 years I'm so freaking happy okay so let's see here Charlene by the way I need to know if you have February honey or November around you birthdays anniversaries passings please let me uh please let me know <laughs> you heard the lady i like you i like you crystal that but, <laughs> but okay so charlene just need to know do you have february and november around you just need to know birthdays anniversaries passings <laughs> i'm sorry i left you hanging jen but if you can't answer my question, then it's no use me yapping away if I'm not getting it. So, no, hun, don't think so. Okay, perfect. 2, 11, 20, or 29. 2, 11, 20, or 29. Any month. Doesn't matter. I just need to know, Shirley. I'm just feeling that for some reason. I see two right, right away. And uh, it could be around your uh, husband's side, too, if you have a husband or boyfriend's side. But two, it's just February or 11, which is one plus one is two, right? Or um, two or 11 or 20 or 29. That's numerology. Yes, you do. November, sorry. I thought so because I thought, Jesus, what the hell? Okay, so can you tell me what that is real quick? I just need to know, sweetie, okay? I'm going to pull a card for you. 
Oh, look at that. I know now. Oh, your relationship. Oops. Sorry, wrong girl. Sorry. Okay, so this is the card I have for you, and I have it upright. This is the patience card, okay, the hourglass. And the hourglass really has, you know, it, it tells us time. And time takes away when the sands of the hourglass. Remember that show? Oh, my God. But anyways, you'll notice when, um, when I wanted to make this card up, Charlene, one of the reasons why Lori and I had talked about this and one of the reasons why there's actually a maple leaf here is because I'm Canadian and I wanted people to know that. <laughs> but anyways, this is summer, spring going into fall. So going into fall, that kind of thing, you're going to need to exercise a little bit of patience around a certain situation. I don't know if it's something that you've been wanting for a long time or something you've been asking for someone to do and they're not freaking doing it. But the thing is, there's something to do with that. And they make you feel you need to exercise a little bit of patience, okay? Now, this card here is amazing also. talks about some news coming around. And the thing is, just leaking out a little bit at a time. So, like, in other words, it takes a while to find things out. Or you may need to exercise patience around certain things that you're desiring. But the thing is, it's upright. So, good things come to those who wait. And I would definitely, um, you know, think that you should not worry so much if something takes its time because sometimes you know it's better when it takes its time everything happens for a reason but you know sometimes i know i've lost my patience i wanted something like yesterday and i don't get it until like way forward or way ahead but at the end of the day when it comes forward it's like oh my god i'm so glad i got this now rather than three or four months ago because had that happened then it wouldn't have been as great for me or maybe more difficulties around situation now i used a uh, pink tourmaline you know so basically attracting love that kind of thing balancing the heart chakras so if you're looking at a gemstone selection or blue zircon or blue topaz but i use that for for wisdom and i use that um you know just for um, self-awareness type thing so i absolutely love these gemstones they don't have to be expensive but if you're looking around some patience and exercising patience these are the gemstones that i actually suggest around that because a little bit of wisdom usually when you start cluing in that um how would i say it uh, that you exercise that patience go pay you off like this is like it's like saving a penny every day for 10 years by the time you go to get that penny it's a freaking load okay you are loaded like with pennies of course but pennies turn into big bucks after a while if you kind of uh could like let them know so anyways whoops i wanted to do this one yay 106 yay yay so at 103 and 103 was my first home room oh my god but um thank you so much for writing in i hope you can relate to that um and i thank you so much you know charlene for um i know you hate waiting for something here and i understand that but the thing is patience is going to pay off for you so maybe there's something that you really want or something that you really need you're going to get it with time or maybe there's something that you're working on coming to fruition but be patient sweetie okay so yay for you so now i'm going to go get someone in the green room because i got a freaking load of people let me tell you and so these are just like random people i have no clue really who decides to sign on here because rachel i told rachel don't worry about it anymore okay whoops wrong ears okay so i always i don't like the cord on the left honestly here we go okay so let me go get let me go get margaret margaret hey margaret 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 hi hi, hi how are you i'm great good good where are you i'm in timmins timmins ontario yes I, you know what i love timmins well it's raining right now but uh it's raining yeah. here too it's a really big cloud yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god can i ask you do you have any M any other ma names around you i do yes my who? sister yeah who marla marla is, or yeah. mark i have mark my brother well it's just m-a-r is what i see so that could be mark marcel morris yes you know uh, margaret uh margo like m-a-r's marissa but marla and mark you said yeah my brother okay. and sister Perfect. Do you have any April around you? I just need to know. 
Uh, yes, I do. Who would they be? Um, well, my grandchildren. Okay. Like are born in April. Okay, perfect. And 4, 13, 22, or 31 belongs to who? 4, or 13, or 22, or 31 of any month? Uh, 22 would yeah. be my daughter, Kirsten, who's actually in the green room as well. Let me go get her. Cause like I had, I don't know if you can see that. Okay. Yes. Okay. What month is she? July. July. Okay. Uh, who could, what's her name? Kirsten. Okay. Let's go get Kirsten. Hi, Kirsten. Hi. Who are you? <laughs> Good. How are you? Good. Where are you from? I'm from Timmins also. So you, you live in Timmins too? Yes. Okay, good. I'm so glad you were able to relate because they made, and so is it your children, uh, Kirsten, that are in April? Yes, my daughter. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. I'm good with that. No, no, because when they start talking about April, right away, they're going to be other fours that are connected to April. So I don't care if it's a birthday, an anniversary, or passing. I just needed to know April. And right away, Number four is pop out. So I needed to know from Margaret, what the hell am I thinking here? Four is <laughs> 13. One plus three is four. Two plus two is four. Or four, three plus one is four. So I don't care what month. So you're July 22? Yes. And who's November or February for you? <laughs> um, so that would be, for me, it would be um, my husband or my boyfriend's uh, grandfather. Yeah. He comes through a lot. <laughs> okay, great. And and he's actually related, like, it's uh, my daughter with uh, April. That's okay. his uh, great, great granddaughter. Oh, okay. Was was she named after someone as well? Yes. Well, um, Mc, her name is McKenna, so we named her, her middle names are both after yeah. my grandmother and, and the grandfather, yeah. Lauren. Yeah. Name, yeah. So his okay. name was uh, Larry. We named her Lauren to kind of make it a little bit more feminine. <laughs> Why the hell am I seeing lasagna? Oh. Uh, well, we had spaghetti yesterday. I don't know. Is it layered? No. No. Does someone just do you have M&Ms there? Oh, yes. Dad had lasagna Dad. a couple days ago. Yes. He did. Okay. Yes. Because they're talking about lasagna, because it's not yeah. spaghetti. Yeah. yeah. Him, and, him and James, yeah. Okay, from where? M&M's. Yeah, because they're talking about m and M lasagna. <laughs> That's, That's funny. Thinking, oh, shit. I didn't know you guys had a freaking M&M's over there. Yeah, yeah. Where, where is it? Um, It's over by the uh, Metro, by the Tim Hortons. Oh, there's like two Tim Hortons I know yeah. of. Okay. Well, <laughs> there's was a... one that goes towards South Porcupine, and then there's the little one in the mall parking lot. Yeah. Yeah, that. The, so. the two Timmies I know. Right. Where's Metro? The further one by going by South to South Porcupine? No, no. No, closer. so the closer one. Yes. Okay. Close to the Ford dealer. Uh, yeah, closer sort of that, right? yes. yeah. Okay, I'm getting good. I'm getting to know Timmons. Oh my god, I can drive it on <laughs> GPS now. Ah, and people give me the finger. It's so great. <laughs> I'm so Canadian. I'm okay. sorry about that. <laughs> no, don't worry about it. You know what? I have a deep understanding for human human nature. I don't drive 150 kilometers an hour. I only usually do the speed limit. But oh my god, you guys have worse drivers than Quebec. We do. <laughs> Yes. I can't believe it. I was passed at about 175 Ks in, you know, that stretch going to Timmins. And the guy was giving me the finger on the way, like, ah, you know, and it's driving. And I'm going, oh my God. And like, he was gone. Like, I couldn't, I couldn't, I'm sure he was at the watershed having dinner, like, and had his whole dinner and then had time <laughs> to leave by the time I got there. But, anyways, that was pretty amazing. <laughs> oh, my. But, I do have a spirit around you, Kirsten, and they do make me feel connected to February, November for you, if you're the number 22, and if you're connected to the April. So that's how they're coming through. And it's funny because they're picking on your mom to get through to you, which is kind of interesting. 
Yeah. So they make me feel good. They're bitching about some flowers. So I don't know if the flowers need to like be dug out already or if you need to cut down some flowers or something, but they make me feel the flowers have to be thrown out. So I don't know what they mean by that. Okay. Unless there's flowers at work or something that need to go in the garbage or there's rotten flowers or dried flowers somewhere. They're laughing. So I have no clue why. I have no clue why. Okay. <laughs> now your husband, is he getting the heartburn, honey? No, heartburn? mine? No, Margaret. Oh, heartburn for myself? Yeah. No, your husband. Oh, I don't think so. He's never told me about it. He doesn't complain, though. That's okay. Is there anyone around him, male-wise, that have heartburn or heart conditions? Oh, my son had some stomach issues, yes. Yeah, when was that? Yes. Um, not too long ago, maybe uh, two, two weeks at the most, two, three it's weeks. Be it's better now? Yes, yes okay, he's on medication. So long as he's improved, I'm glad you went. He, did he go to the hospital? Yes. Yeah, because yes. he didn't go see, they don't make me feel he went to a doctor, like no. office. They make me feel like a 911 place, but he drove himself in or someone drove him in. Yeah, okay. Christian brought him. Yeah. <laughs> I, I so, went with. <laughs> yeah, no, so it's okay like that. Were you shocked at the, like, the water machine or something? Oh, my God. At the, the dispenser? There's a dispenser for, like, water or something or pop. You know those big dispensers? Why do he, I see someone bitching about something at the dispenser? Oh. oh, that may have been my may have been James, but not me. <laughs> what did he do? Do you know? Was he at the vending machine getting water or something? I don't know. I don't. I don't know. He may have, but he didn't tell me. <laughs> he just made me feel someone's bitching at the vending machine, and I don't know why, but I get that like very, very clearly. So. I don't know what the hell. But anyways, guys, I want to thank you so much. Did you have a question for me at all? Because that's who's coming through. Do you February or November? Um, well, I did have a question. I know last time we spoke, it was a few weeks ago. Okay. And, um, and it seemed like there was a, a message for me to give to somebody, but uh, we didn't put uh, all the... Uh, everything together to find out who it was yeah i wouldn't even know like i don't remember yesterday so yeah. i wouldn't i wouldn't know and i'm not feeling it i have to feel it if i don't feel right. it it sucks but it's true yeah, yeah i understand I'm not feeling it yeah. what i'm feeling is february and november yes yes holy shit wow eh? <laughs> so much if that doesn't go away after his medication make sure he goes back just follow up for my but that's what I'm, yeah, but that's the only message I get, like, okay. for that. And a lot of people call me, like, two weeks. Do you remember the reading when it's like, you know, because oh. <laughs> you know, I have to be in that moment, you know? Yes. Yeah. But anyways, you guys are so sweet. Thank you so much for coming on. Thank, Thank you, you so Jane. much. Take care, honey. Thank you. All right. Bye. Take care. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye, honey. Oh, my God. I love people so much. I got to take that off. Oh. Jesus, this heart of my ears. I gotta get some better ones. But hi guys, how you doing? Oh my goodness, you guys are just so amazing. We already have 400 comments, so please, if you've asked once, you can ask twice, I won't be mad. And I've got some people in the green room that I'm gonna be going to pick up. So thank you so much for participating. I'm hoping that I'll be able to, um, you know, read as many people as I possibly can. But yeah, spirit's definitely around. And like when I see M&M &M lasagna, you can bet your dollar that that's what they're showing me. So spirits are around you guys. And when they're around you guys, they show me through their eyes, through their consciousness, what they're around. So if I see what you're doing, it's not because I'm creeping out because I don't even know you guys. <laughs> Some people, I don't even know who's going to be on. So guys, come on on. Come say hi. Let me see. So Brooke. Brooke Shiru, let's go get your card, darling. I'm just going to shuffle them up a little bit, sweetie. So here we go. Yay, yay. Oh, look at you, manifestation. Do you guys ever hear of Genie in the Bottle? Do you remember that? I dream of Genie. Oh, my God. But anyways, this is the Genie's Bottle. 
Can you not tell that is beautiful? And it's got citrine on it, which represents November. It's got peridot, which is a stone of abundance, which represents August. It's got diamond for April and clarity. This is an amazing card. And so, Brooke, you got good things coming. You have to think of the things that you want, not the things that you don't want. And when you think of the things that you don't want, you have to be careful because you are in manifestation mode. Okay, so this is the manifestation card, thinking of what you want. And you know, when we talk about the three wishes, you rub the bottle, the genie comes out and grants you three wishes. Well, this bottle is upright, so you are going to have really good things coming up or your heart's desire is going to come to fruition. But think of the things that you want, especially now you're in a little bit of a manifestation mode. And the thing is, if you're thinking good thoughts, you're going to reap those, uh, you know, the fruits of your labor. You're going to reap all of these like great things. But if you're thinking like shitty thoughts, you're just going to reap that. So don't think that. Think of what you want, not what you don't want. So this is an absolutely amazing card. Spirit message is that they help you with whatever it is that you're asking for. And again, the stones that I used were Peridot, Diamond, and Citrine. And those absolutely are amazing stones. Diamond for clarity, Peridot for abundance, and Citrine just to absorb negative energy. And so I love that stone because you don't have to cleanse it, which is really great. Now, guys, as you're coming on, please share this. I absolutely love, and I hope you enjoyed your card. Brooke um, and thank you so much for writing in but as you're coming on please if you would love to share this uh, video I'd be so freaking happy honestly and I am going to go take some more of your comments so here we go uh, let me see um, 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 Bewitched yeah actually it was a pretty good show and I remember it hi Judy how you doing I still I put the little four leaf clover in my purse so just to let you know, thank you so much for doing that. And, you know, I think of your husband, um, you know, and the good energy that he's sending me from the other side. And I could use all the spiritual help, trust me. So thank you so much, Judy, you know, for the wonderful gift. And it was nice. It was like opening a present. And guys, I got to tell you, I won a prize today. I never freaking win anything. Well, that's not true because I did win something once um, through uh, Kim Bank here, Douglas, who's a friend of mine, and she's um, actually a stylist uh, at the Ellen Show. And I had won a bracelet through one of her contests. And I was shocked. And uh, so I was really happy. And I won Robin Beret. I won some clothes from her. I was absolutely shocked because Robin was my clothing sponsor for almost two years. And she's a wonderful lady out of um, Ashley of Toronto that has the shop. She's always on the shopping channel, Artisan by Robin Beret. She's amazing. And I won $200 worth of clothes. So I was really super excited because I love her stuff. And there's two really beautiful things that I really, really want. So it's like Christmas day all the way around. So, um, so I'm just really happy. So if you guys get a chance to watch her on the shopping channel or just like go Google her artisan by Robin Beret. She's so freaking cute. She used to be a school teacher and now she's a clothing designer is extremely successful and just, um, a beautiful, beautiful person. Simona. I can't even see your last name. Oh my freaking God. Okay, so Su 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 Kate? Su Kate? Oh my God. Did I say that right, Simona? I love your name. Look how cute you are. Okay, now Simona, just to let you know, right away, ding, 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 October or January, or the 1st, or the 10th, or the 19th, or the 28th. And I gotta tell you, that's what I'm feeling. So just to let you know, um, there's... Uh, there's something to do with that for birthdays, anniversaries, passings, that kind of thing. So just to let you know, um, I'm feeling that, Simona. Could you tell me what that is? Birthdays, anniversaries, passings, and um, January or October. Yay. So is there anything to do with that for you? Oh, my goodness. And then Simona, I hope you're still here, honey. <laughs> Simona, what's it, Simona? I don't know if I said that right, but it sounds really freaking good when you say it like that. Okay, <laughs> guys, please share this. Everybody needs a little bit of a crazy connect in their life, and that would be me. Uh, let me see. So, Simona, are you here going once? 
there. Having a christening in October. Is there a birthday and anniversary or passing? Um, or is there something to do with the 1st, the 10th, the 19th, or the 28th? So 110, 19, or 28. 1, 10, 1 plus 0 is 1. 19, 1 plus 9 is 10. 1 plus 0 is 1. 28, 2 plus 8 is 10. 1 plus 0 is 1. So is there something to do with that, Simona? I don't see your answer. Well, I am going to get a card for you in the meantime. I don't want to take my eyes off the comment section because I only get five comments at a time. No? Okay. They make me feel there's something to do with that unless it's the letters A or J. First letter of the alphabet, tenth letter of the alphabet. But they make me feel there's a connection coming through like that for you. Or January or October for birthdays, for anniversaries, or uh, passings connected to the other side. I would get that. Right away, I felt someone with cancer, Simona. Already dead. It's not going to happen. So I don't want you thinking that. But I don't know if, like, they had, like, gotten better for a little while, then got worse again. But there's almost something to do with that. And I don't quite know what that is, but that's coming through. And if not for your side, maybe a husband's side or something. But there's definitely something to do with that. And I keep on seeing that right away when I see your cute little name. So I don't know. You can't see anything else. Don't know if you can relate to that. But just keep an open mind around that. They do make me feel there's something to do with that, sweetie. And it's already happened. So I don't want you thinking that I would ever tell you something like that anyways, because I think that's so freaking tacky. But uh, let me see. I'm just looking, Nanny passed away with cancer. Yeah, but definitely cancer. And I don't know if like they got better for a while. It's almost the way I feel. Or maybe they thought they were going to beat it. But honestly, I, I don't like to see that. You know, they just make me feel kind of bad about that. I'm so sorry to hear that, Simona. But there's something to do with that. And then if it's not January or October or the 1st, 10th, 19th, or 28th, um, then it would definitely be um, either an A or a G letter coming through. That's the only thing I could tell you. But definitely um, cancer is very, very strong when I feel that around you. So let me grab a card for you, honey. And thank you so much for being here for your first time. And I hope you come back as well, which would be really freaking nice. So we have the scroll and quill. And I love this. You know, if you look at the scroll and quill, it represents communications of all kinds. You know, it could be emails, it could be text messages, it could be phone calls. But there is news coming in and they do make me feel really good about it because the card is upright, which is a big yay. This could also be finalizing or pinning very easily contracts, agreements, renewing mortgages, but all yays, all things of benefit are all very good. So for me, that would be really, really great. Also talks about being able to write your own outcomes very easily. So I feel good about that. And um, just to let you know, I'm feeling kind of like that. Now, I don't know if somebody has just uh, broken a tooth on a nut or you know, a piece of popcorn or something like that, but I feel like a broken tooth, not a cavity, not a surgery in a gum. It's almost like I bit down too hard and my tooth is cracked or there's something going on. So I don't know what the hell that is, but just to let you know, Simona, just watch around that because it's a broken tooth or something to do with um it, it feels like a really badly bo broken tooth or someone bit too hard on something or something's going on but the thing is it's like i feel cracked i feel like the air going in like you know when that pain comes with a broken tooth be careful could be filling that fellow but it'd be a hell of a big filling it wouldn't be just like a teensy weensy one because it makes me feel like the tooth is really cracked so that's what i'm talking about so I wanted to thank you so much, Shimona, and, uh, you know, very good news around you, good things, being able to write out your own outcomes in a very positive way. Keep positive, sweetheart, and thank you for joining me here. Yay. Okay, so I am moving on forward. Guys, as you're coming on, could you please share on behalf of the pig and poo, as my mother would say. And I said that really fast. So I'm going to say it really slow so that you can understand it. My mother, as she would say, is I'm happier than a pig and shit. 
That's the way she used to say happy. So there. So I'm going to be taking your questions now. So all you have to do is share and put a little heart beside your comment. You're welcome, Simona. Take care. And um, just a little heart beside your comment so that I know that you've shared this post. I want so many people to come on. If you're a family, let me know that you're family because I just had Margaret and her daughter Kirsten on. And I was so happy to have that. But they can really relate to what I was telling them. And I'm glad that they were able to. But guys, just to let you know that you may be able to relate as well. And guys, did you know that I have a membership site called myinfinityfamily.com I do and I answer a lot of questions there I do videos and there's monthly draws there's all kinds of kind of things there so I'm kind of excited so I'm gonna go to the green room now I'm gonna go grab somebody I'm gonna be happy to go get someone I'm gonna go get Christine here and guys if you've been on before let me know because I'm gonna make sure to bring other people on so I'm gonna go get Christine so Christine hi Christine Hi, Jay. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. How are you? I'm okay. Good. Well, I'm glad it's better than not okay, right? Yeah. Yes. So tell me, where are you from? Sudbury. Are oh, you from my hometown? Yeah. Oh, ever nice. Um, Christine, can I ask you, do you have, um, is there a march around you or like 3 or 12 or 21 or 30? March 29th. Yeah. Who is that? My father. Uh, okay. It's just because I'm seeing three right away around you. And three for me is either March, which is the third month, or threes can also be the third, the 12th, one plus two is three, the 21st, no, of any month, or, my the father. or the 30th. Yeah. And it's like one or the other. It could be one and that. Is there anybody also in August? And if not, no, and if not eight? 17 or 26? Uh, my grandmother was September 26th. Her That's her, right? Okay. Because I have an eight coming through with that. Okay. I don't know who they belong to, but they're together. Because for me, they'd be together. Okay. They were very close yeah. when they were both. But they're together for me. Because, like, the thing is, it's just that I get the eight. So if it's not August which is the eighth month, it's the eighth of any month, or the 17th, one plus seven is eight, or two plus six is eight. But I didn't know which month, okay? So that clearly comes through. Was there congestive heart or enlarged heart around someone else? My grandfather on my dad's side. Yeah, because that heart. Heart, big time heart problem though. Okay, this yeah. is not just a heart attack and I dropped dead. This is, I had heart problems, okay? Yeah. Yeah. So they make me feel like that because if it's not, it's like a heart failure of some kind. So they make me feel that this is the cause of my death or the cause of most of my problems in my life. Is he the one with the gout? I, I am unsure if he had gout. but Did he have one like screwed up or something? That's my father. Oh, that's your dad. What was wrong with his leg? He got shot in the ankle by his brother when they were kids, and he had a limp. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. BB gun or pellet yeah. gun. Or... Did someone lose a tire while they were driving? I'm unsure. Is there something to do with the trailer losing a tire? I hope not. My son tries no, no, transport. No, 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 not like that. Like a trailer. Like you know, if you're, you did that ever happen somehow? I am. I'm unsure. There's someone talking about that. It's already happened. Hmm. It looks like a tire went flying off a car, or 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 maybe went flat. But there's something to do with that. Already happened. If I didn't know any better, I'd almost think between 1979 and 19, 1984. Maybe write that down and ask, but between 79 and 84. I'll have to ask my mom because that's yeah. a possibility. Because it's a long time ago. They make me feel there's a trailer or something or a car that lost a tire. We were avid campers when my father was alive and we were a family. So, yeah. Who went, to, who went to Quebec camping? My grandparents. Oh, that's your grandparents. It was north, eh? North of Quebec or something? Is They're there from like Rouen, so it'd be around that area. 
Yeah, but is there something to do with Maniwaki or something? I don't know. Huh? Because it's showing me a little bit north, and it could be there. Rwanda is pretty pretty north of uh, Quebec, like a northern area, right? Wow. So your dad, what happened to him? Uh, my father passed away of throat cancer. Oh my God, eh? Who's the back-to-back -back passing then, Christine? Two passings relatively close together. Year, year and a bit, maybe. He's talking uh, about that. There's two passings very close together. I know my <laughs> my dad's mom passed uh -huh. away, and her aunt. They passed away the same day, and that was. Oh same. my God! Okay, so I understand because they talk about back to back, but I thought maybe a year, year and a bit. So if it's a day, day and a bit. I understand. Same day. It's crazy. But those two popped in. Who's the hairdresser? If not beehive, big hair. Huge. Oh, my Be goodness. Beehive. I'm talking like final net hairspray, cigarettes in the bathroom. I could see it. Spraying. Shh, big hair. I'll come back. I don't know. Oh, okay. Look at some pictures. You're going to see a big bee's nest. Okay. There's something to do with that. And they just make me feel really big hair. Okay. But there's a female coming through. I think it's an ant. Okay. With super big hair. That's how I feel. Unless it's on a husband's side, his big hair. Now, um, when was your dad's birthday? The 29th of December. Oh, so it was the same day. So no, 20 he, he passed away March 29th, and his yeah. birthday was December 29th. But that's what I mean. And so it's interesting. So I thought that's why I was seeing the 3, the 12. So 12 is December. 1 plus 2 is 3. So I'm understanding what he's talking about then. Because I was thinking maybe there's something to do with another 3 around you. But I'm understanding. When, what year did he pass? 2015, two weeks before I got married. Oh, my God. What a time to go. Oh. Yeah. But anyways, he's around you, honey. Okay? I don't know who's got problems with circulation in the legs, but my freaking legs hurt. Okay? Oh, my son. Oh. My legs are so crampy, you have no idea, especially behind the, like, where the knee is. Okay? My legs are really crampy. So watch his circulation. Because for me, it looks like a circulation issue. I'm not a doctor. I can only tell you what I'm getting. But you really need to. And if, if, it, if it got any more painful, tell him to go see a doctor. Is he seeing one? No. Uh, it was a, <laughs> a bullying accident when he was a child. Um, but his legs achy. Yes. Uh, he, he actually tells kids that he has a shark bite because that's what it looks like. Oh, my God. Okay, yeah. so I understand. Okay. Did anyone ever get their tongue stuck on metal? <laughs> uh, my kids, myself. No, no, but like a kids. funny story about it. I think that would be my youngest. Okay. My, yeah. When he he must have had a hell of a scar or something or like a bobo to the tongue or something, but they make me feel there's something to do with that. Because hmm. I always feel like it's burning. You know what I mean? I don't think it's like an infection. It looks like a burn, like when you get your tongue stuck on something, metal, and it's really yeah. cold. Yeah. Like, I mean, we all tried that as kids, but my tongue never got stuck there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? My my youngest, uh, they actually told me a story about it. He he had got his tongue his tongue stuck pretty good. So yeah, so there yeah. is a story. Perfect. Because yeah. mine, I don't have a story. I mean, I could tell you I got my tongue stuck, but I mean, there's no story yeah. to it. You know, he was dared. He was dared. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. Who the hell died when he was that young? When my when my son was young. When that happened to him, figure that out. I don't know. They make me feel there's death around that time. Okay. And I don't know how long ago that is for you, but they make me feel it's around that time. 
So just to let you know that. And I feel that like clear as freaking bell. That's weird. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. So. <sighs> wow. My lungs also like feel full. So I don't know why. So I don't know if someone had a lung problem, but I'm feeling full around my lungs. <sighs> um. It's almost like, uh, it's almost like, um, you know, when people have problems with their lungs, but it causes heart problems because my heart feels like it wants to race around it. Well, my grandfather who passed mm -hmm. from the heart problems was an avid smoker. I wonder. Okay. But I'll just leave that there because I'm not sure. But my grandma that passed her two-year anniversary is coming up. She passed of um, pneumonia. That could be her because, like, I just feel really heavy around the lungs. Like, like there's a weight there. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, like, smoking doesn't make me feel like that. Usually I just see dark lungs. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Anyways, you've got better things coming, honey. Pardon me? Better things coming. They just make me feel better around you. So don't worry so much. You're worried about something. I don't know what the hell it is, but they make me feel you're worried way too much. You think about it. You think about it. You think about it. Oh my God. And they just make me feel like, oh, and you ask and you ask for favors. You do. And the thing is, you've been asking the right people. So they're going to bring you things, but not exactly as you'd like them because there's lessons to be learned somehow. What the lessons are, they're not for you, they're for someone else. Okay, so you're going to have to be patient. I don't know why I'm telling you this, but that's the way I have to tell you. I think you understand it. You know what I mean? I think you understand it. And it's, sometimes it's not ours to carry. Sometimes it's someone else's to carry without going into too much detail. Okay. Yeah. So there's something preventing you from being able to do what you really want to do, but I think that's on purpose. Do you understand? Yep, absolutely. Yeah. So sometimes we want to do things, but our hands are tied, but there's a good reason for it. And, and it's because they don't want you assisting like that right away. Sometimes people need to learn hard lessons and it's not hard. It's, 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 it's hard for us to watch them go through something, you know, or watch people suffer more than they have to. But sometimes it's that suffering that kind of kicks them out of their rut and kind of, makes them want to dust themselves off and go, holy shit, I just hit rock bottom now. I got to change my shit, you know? Exactly. So you know what I'm talking about, right? Yep. Yeah. But anyways, that's where I'm going with that. But that's what your dad says. So he's Is that why he's thing. been around me? He's around you a lot, yeah. But you talk to him a lot. You've been asking for favors. Actually, from I've been asking him to stay away. Well, the He's thing is, okay, so what you need to do then is you need to tell him why. I did. It's not working. I feel oh. like he's coming more and more the more I ask him to stay away. Okay. Is there something unresolved within yourself about your dad? Oh, yeah. Huge. That's probably why. And the thing is, on the other side, when the spirit crosses through, they don't bring the human ego with them anymore. So let me tell you a quick story. Before we come into being, let's use myself an exam as an example. This did not happen to me. I'm just making pretend, but I just want you to understand. But I'm going to use me as an example, okay? So before I come into being, let's say my dad and I made an agreement to come into this world, and he was going to be my sexual abuser, Okay, and I made a very loving agreement with him to go through a very nasty sexual abuse from the time I'm six until I'm 12. And until I threatened to kick his ass and kill him in his sleep. Okay, do you understand? I, I totally understand more than you even know. Okay, I'm using this example for a reason. Yeah. Do you understand? Okay, so... Now, my dad and I come here. I'm born into this world. I have these terrible experiences. I could choose one of two things. I could choose to, like, not do anything about it and just grow the rest of my life, like, hating his guts and thinking he's a fucking asshole for what he did to me, right? 
right? And I could do all of that, or I could say, look, okay, what's happened to me has happened to me, and I really need to get over this. And I made this agreement with him to learn exactly what I didn't want in my life because I don't want to give that to my kids. I don't want this to happen to my kids, and I don't want it to happen to anybody else. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go help other people with that, or maybe I'm going to talk to somebody I think might be being abused and I'm going to tell them my story and share my pain so that they don't feel so alone and that they know they can do something about it. Sometimes it's as simple as that, but it's to take that fucking shitty lesson and to make it a good one. Do you understand? And it's hard to do that because we're stuck in those four walls. We're stuck in those four walls. We're a child. We're afraid. This is the person that I'm supposed to trust with my fucking life. And they fucked me. Do you understand? So could you imagine the pain people go through when I feel that? And the thing is, at the end of the day, you have to live your life like this and think, okay, you fucking son of a bitch, why the fuck did you do that to me? You stay away from me. I hate your fucking guy. Now, they go and they die. So we're still pissed off here, right? We're still pissed off because the fucking asshole is dead now, right? And now I can curse them out. I can curse them every goddamn day. And a lot of people do that. But the thing is, I think that's a good thing. You need to tell that soul how you feel. You need to put it and say why. But the thing is, you have to understand that when they go through, they understand the loving agreement that was made between two souls very lovingly before coming here. When you die, or when I die, or whoever dies, they understand those lessons. They understand them. They do. And the thing is, you'll have a total understanding of why you went through that. Mostly very highly evolved souls go through a shit show when they decide to come back here. Much tougher lives. But the thing is, is because you're tougher, you know more, you're highly evolved soul, and you have the power to take it back. You have the power to help other people through the pain that you've gone through. And one of the reasons why I do this job is because I've gone through different pain in my life. But I think that I've got enough together now to understand what my lessons were supposed to be so that I can help other people this way. That's why I do this. Because trust me, it's not easy to do this job. It's hard because you get a lot of scrutiny and people think you're just taking advantage of others. But I don't give a shit what people think of me because I don't care. It's not my business what they think of me. But I care enough about you to be able to use myself as an example. Do you understand that? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Do you feel a release? A little bit. Good girl. You need a session. You do. You need a one-on-one -on -one because you need to release and let go, sweetheart. You really do. Oh, I know. Yeah, you do. You got too much pent up in here and you're mad at somebody that's not able to feel your human emotions the way you'd like them to, you know what I mean? And you don't have any closure because you're really pissed off. And I think that your grief, we love our parents as much as they hurt us, we love them, right? And the thing is, it's hard to separate that. This is the person that you're supposed to trust the most, right? And the thing is, I think that they come around us because like my dad didn't come see me for 14 years. My dad, as much as I loved him, my dad was difficult. <sighs> now shut the fuck up. People are think you're crazy. Call this tabarnak of a threatened fullness. See, call this the young tabarnak. Oh, but my dad was so nice in front of everyone else. And I understand my dad's anger now because he was afraid. I mean, I was abused by freaking nuns in school. My dad was afraid that I was going to be hurt because my mother was a practicing psychic. And in the 60s, not a good thing for me, right? But I don't care now. I can talk about it. I don't give a shit. Why? Because the thing is, I'm not the only one that's abused in school. And for what reasons? I don't know. I'm not the only one that had a dad that said, God, you step out and not come back and stay in. <laughs> you know? He did it because he loved me. Didn't want to hurt. He didn't want me to be vulnerable to all these people, but shit happens. And that's how we learn what we want. That's how what we learn what we don't want is through these life experiences. You have to learn how to get outside of those four walls somehow with whatever you've experienced in your life. 
and you need to build your own four walls and you need to feel secure in that. Once you understand the soul's journey, why we're here, where we're going after we leave and why we make these agreements, you're going to feel so much better. Even if you didn't get any messages, you will feel so much better. You really will. Because we need to know why we're here. We don't die every day. We make mistakes every day, but we don't die every day. And we're always so afraid that life is passing us by. And we can make our lives so much better with just changing certain things. And just a couple belief systems. But most people don't believe that. And I do. I do. Wholeheartedly. You know? I quit my job in my 50s to do that. Government job with benefits. Who the hell does that when they have three years left to retire? Idiot. But you know what? I'm so much happier. I don't care. I don't care. I think of what I want. You need to do that, sweetie. Okay. Are you still getting up to three times a night? Um, more than that. Nine. Jeez. You're really having a hard time, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Take a deep breath. You're going to be okay. I'm going to tell you that. Just need to get things in order. But I think you understood what I told you today. Oh, 100%. Yeah. Uh, you actually shocked me with your example, which was more than an example. Yeah. I'm but sorry. I came out with that. Yeah. What I, example? I understand. But that's why I used it. Sorry. No, don't be sorry. It's okay. I have tears too. I'm trying not to cry. <laughs> You're really pulling my heartstrings, sweetie. I just want to go there and give you a hug until your fucking eyes pop out of your head. That's what I want to do. <laughs> but anyway, sweetie, you need you need to have a private session. I don't know if you I can agree. do that even with somebody, but make sure whatever medium that you pick to do this with really has a deep understanding of what you're going through and connects with that. Because the thing is, I pick it up right away. Yeah. Dad talks a lot, honey. I know. He doesn't stop coming to me, and I've asked him. To stop. But you know what? Smudge your area and just tell him that you can't handle him right now and that he needs to take a step back just to give you some time. I think he'd listen to that. Spirits want to be around, but they need to understand. And the thing is, maybe part of his soul is still ground, but I, fe I feel he's gone through. I just think he had a lot of karmic lessons to go through. That's what I think. Probably. Yeah, and he's probably going through them, and maybe you're feeling them because maybe he's replaying parts of your life. Maybe that's why you're feeling the way you are too. Because the thing is that residual energy, especially replaying karmic lessons, yeah, because they get to feel what you feel and what they feel at the same time. Yeah, no picnic, but it's the way they learn, right? Yeah, on the other side. It's just a, a way of going through life lessons. They review their lives. Sometimes it takes longer. I know when he's here. I smell yeah. cigarette smoke when he's yeah. yeah, I thought it was cigars, though. They smell soury a bit. No, but no, it's cigarette smoke, and it's very distinct when he's here. Well, it's I just know. a funny smell to me. It's like a soury, cigarette smell. I thought Probably maybe it's a cigar. <laughs> Pardon? The what? Probably the booze. Oh, okay. Is he the Aqua Velva man? Oh, I don't know. I don't know if he wore the... Um, is there like blue cologne or like blue cologne or something in a bottle? Do you remember that? I'm on. Around. Yes. Yes and no. I think that was my grandpa. Oh, okay. Because someone's coming through with a blue bottle of cologne too, but it's light blue, but it looks yeah. like old, like old. Yeah. It's not red, like old spice is red. That I know. It's like a heart shape. It's yeah. It's a smaller bottle, but it's 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 round. But the the liquid is like a lightish blue, like a sky yeah. blue almost. You know? That would be my grandpa. That would be yeah. his dad. Yeah, I'm so sorry. I got a little bit dramatic there, but that's Jesus, okay. <laughs> oh, you kicked the shit out of me. Sorry. <laughs> no, that's okay. You know what? Sometimes it just needs to happen like that. I want to thank you so much for trusting me with your heart and and for just doing this. I, I bet you helped a lot of people today. I think you did. There's someone going through something that happened a couple of months ago, something to your, similar to your example, yeah. trying to assist, Good. but it's difficult. I know, honey, but there's reasons for it. Yeah. Do you understand? So you hit, when you use that example, you hit everything. I couldn't, I was like, <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, I get it. Yeah. So, so long as you understand, I'm so happy you do. Thank you. Take care, sweetheart. You too. Have a good day. Me too.
Wow. That's, um, I usually save that for private sessions. I usually don't do something like that on a live, but I think sometimes it just needs to come out. And I think sometimes people just need to, uh, they just need to reach out and they just need to be human and they just need to know that there's a lot of love out there for them and a lot of understanding. Whew. And uh, I'm exhausted just with that. It's crazy. But um, anyways, guys, I'm so sorry for swearing. I hope I didn't um, offend anybody, but I just, um, I just, I guess I forgot about the world for a minute. I just was thinking about her. Anyways, I'm going to take one more person for the green room. I'm going to take one more person from the comment section. Guys, please share this. And let me go see here. Who do I have? I'm going to go get Abby. Abby, Abby, Abby. Oh, we're going on. Hi, oh, Abby. Hi, how are you? I'm awesome. How are you? Good. My friend Bev is here and my mom. Hi, Bev and mom. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Can you hear us? Yeah, I can hear okay, you guys. Good. Where are you from? <laughs> Stony Creek or Hamilton, I guess. Oh, sounds good. Who had the fire? <laughs> Who had a fire? Yeah. Um, I don't know. Anyone? No. no. Even years and years ago? Mm. Yeah. What about you, Bev? Fire? No. 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 Who had the fire? Kitchen fire? Oh, I had a kitchen fire. Oh, that's you. Get over here. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Get over this is here. My mom. That's your mom over there? Yeah. <laughs> Just a little kitchen fire. It doesn't matter. It was like, holy shit, you <laughs> thought the kitchen was going to catch fire. When was that? Pardon? When was when? that? Oh, my gosh. Probably about 13 or 14 years ago. <laughs> oh, wow. So a little while ago. Can I ask you just a couple questions? Sure. Okay. Do you have June or July around you? Do I have June or July? For birthdays or anniversaries or passings? Passing. I have a passing in July. That's okay. Because I didn't know what J month it was. It's June or July, but it's summer. It's not January. So that's why I asked you June or July. Do you remember what date? 13th. Okay. And is there February or November as well, or March? For a passing? No. February, February. It's Great Nana's birthday. Okay. It could be like someone that's passed with a birthday or an anniversary, yeah. February or November. And then March. March could be December as well. Did someone pass just before Christmas too? No. Someone talks about that. Just before Christmas, maybe two weeks before. But no. just think way back. It could even be like 30 years ago, but there's someone that presents themselves like that because they make me feel that they ruined Christmas. It's just the way it is. It's just the way I'm feeling it. Now, I want to get back to your July. Who is that that's just driving me, just really talking a lot? My uh, Bev's daughter just passed away. My daughter is, passed that's, away. Is that July? Yes. Okay. Was there around you as well, Bev? Is there something to do with um, someone that died very quickly? Like a drop dead or didn't wake up? Yeah, my husband. Because that's who they're with. Because for oh. me, whoever oh dropped God. dead or didn't wake yeah. up, I think came to get Ju June or July. Oh, my God. That's so great. Yeah, but they make me feel really good. But he doesn't make me feel he had time to say goodbye. Because no, it's didn't. too quick of a passing. No, he went very fast. Yeah. Is there a school teacher around you? Your friend. Your daughter. Yes, there is. Who is that? My 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 friend's daughter is a school teacher. Okay. Actually, I'm her godmother. Okay, so that's why. So there is a connection to a school teacher for you that way. I'm okay with that. Um, can I ask, is there somebody that lives on a dead end street? I live in a court. Yeah. Yeah, so you can't go past that. It's sort of like yeah, a yeah. coup de sac or whatever, or dead yeah. end. Yes. Yeah. So if that's you, you have two spirits around you. Okay, one talks about having a disorder of the blood or something wrong with the blood, or it could be kidney or liver issues, but they're already dead, okay? They do make me feel that they come around, pardon me? 
Yeah, her daughter had liver cancer. Oh, okay, so that's what it is. But anyways, they come around you. They make me feel, well, they're at, is this your house? My house, <laughs> yes. Okay, so that's why they're around you then. Is there somebody that has a pool too? Pool? Yeah. The door. <laughs> there's a pool next door. Do you mean Perfect. like... Perfect. No, no, there's going to be a pool close by. Because if there's no pool close by, forget about it. Because I don't see a swimming pool there. You know right. what I mean? But they make me feel there's a pool close by. But if, you, if she could see the pool, she's very, very close by. Now, who's the lady beside you that... That's her mom. What's your name, sweetie? What's hey. your name? Yeah. Beth. 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 Okay. So February or November, anything for you as well, sweetie? Uh, February. Or, no, not so really. The 2nd, the 11th, the 20th, or the 29th mean anything to you of any month? Two? Yes. The 29th. Okay. And okay. what were the other numbers? 7, 11? No, 2, 11. Yeah, 20. 11 does and 29. And what are they? Uh oh. What are they, honey? What, what? They're um, birthdays. Okay. 29th was my husband's and 11th is mine. That's why. Okay. So I'm happy because he keeps on insisting about twos. When they keep on insisting about twos, if it's not February or November, one plus one is two, right? Right. right. 20th, two plus zero is two. The 29th is two plus nine is 11. One right. plus one is two. So you're both wow. twos. So he's around you all the time. All the time. Wow. Yeah. Now no, you're, I, feel, you're, I feel his presence around me a lot. He, he's around you all the time. Now, I don't know if you had, um, if your daughter, um, they had like something to do with like a little surgery or something or. Um, yes, she did. Yeah. But they don't make me feel very good about that surgery. So I don't no. know if it's because they, they couldn't i don't know if there's an infection or something or if like but they just make me feel not very good about that surgery and that's kind of what makes me no, feel that thing's going to go down the hill okay yeah as yeah, a result of yeah as the, the result of that ruptured oh. and, and uh she went downhill after that just right downhill so she yeah. just makes me feel the surgery didn't work for her or just kind of made things worse but okay. that's the way it was supposed to happen. As much as you didn't like to see her suffer, I think that if your daughter didn't suffer the way she did, I don't think you would have been able to let her go. I don't that's believe true. that. I don't believe that. I think that you wouldn't have been able to tell her that she can go. And that's really hard to tell your daughter that she needs to go. And I'm so sorry about that, darling. That's really hard. Yeah. I keep on seeing 1105, but I don't know why. And I keep on seeing that. And if it's not 1105, it could be if I turn the clocks upside down. Hang on. I'm going to do, I'm going to take my clock here. So 1105 would be 25 to 5. 25. Yeah, so 4.35 or 11.05. That's what I think. But I keep on seeing that, and I don't think it's a date. I think it's a time, and they make me feel that was important. So I don't know who that's for. Yeah. They talk about the three that were in the room. It could be my husband, because it, it could be when he passed. Okay. He had a heart, heart attack, and it was in the morning. Okay, so I understand. But um, they do that. They make me feel there were three people in the room. Okay, so I don't know who the three that were there, but they were thankful to those three especially. Okay, so make me feel good about that. I almost get the sense that someone was just like lickety split just a minute like too late or just got there just a minute before. But yes. they just make me feel there's like a lateness to somebody. Okay. Yeah, no, that's and true. Yeah, and then I keep on seeing someone sitting in the corner of the room. So I don't know who that is, but like in the chair in the corner, you know. You mean a person or a spirit? No, I think it was a person. <laughs> Could be a spirit, but the thing is they make me feel they were sitting in the chair in the corner. 
Okay, so I feel good about that. I don't know if the bridge was out or there's something to do with the bridge not working or there's too much traffic on the bridge or something to do with going towards the bridge, but they just make me feel this pain there. I don't know what they're talking about, but I keep on seeing a bridge. Okay. okay. I don't know why they keep on mentioning Oh my that. gosh, that's my brother-in-law. Okay. Why is he talking about that? <laughs> He died in of a brain aneurysm while he was driving the car across a bridge, a causeway bridge. Yeah, because he's talking about the goddamn bridge and like there's something wrong at the bridge or something. Yeah. But anyways, oh he's, he's talking too, but he's really happy. Okay. So, and who's Raj? What? Raj. Raj? Raj? Yeah. I don't know. Is it Roger? Raj? No, I don't know. Art, oh, Art Raj. That's what I think I'm hearing anyways. I could be hearing wrong, but I keep on hearing that. So what happened to him? He died on the bridge? He was going to his grand, driving to his granddaughter's soccer game. Mm -hmm. And um, he was driving over a causeway type of bridge. Okay. And uh, he was hit head on. Oh my he had God. A afterwards oh my god poor guy yeah Anyways, he's very happy he doesn't remember dying at all yeah. well when my daughter was so sick at the end she mm -hmm. he would come to her a lot in oh. her dreams oh ever sweet who had the white dog oh gosh we had so many dogs probably so this me. is all white all white yeah it could be beige too but it's all solid color an all white dog yeah we did yeah. my daughter is actually being but it's not all white she's being buried with her dog's ashes yes perfect but it's like a once like more of a solid color right or a light or a white or but they're talking about the white dog but they're really happy about that so i'm okay with that and then um i don't know but if you picked like something pink like the pink urn or <sighs> I keep on seeing that. The sunset on the sun. Yes. Yes. Yep. Yes. There's a sunset with a lot of pink. Yeah, it's it. pink. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely yeah. pink because I'm seeing that on the urn. But she's yes. happy about that. That was the best choice. Don't worry about the other two that you like. They're not as nice as that one. Okay. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, because that one was perfect. She really likes the pink. And I think that's why you were so attracted to it. Yeah. So I'm okay oh. with that. Yeah. Huh. Hang on a second. Main Street East. Like, why am I seeing Main Street East? Pardon? Main Street East. Does that make a sense? When did she manage? No, no Main, Main, Street. Street Main Street East. Main Street East. Oh, Main, Main Street East. That's. Mm -hmm. That's here on Ontario Street. Yes. What is, what, why is she talking about that? It, because we lived one block away from Main Street. Oh, so that's why. It's East, though. She's saying Main Street East. Okay. Yes. I know. All right. Yeah. Wow. Hang on a sec. You are good. <laughs> no, it's just she's very, very muddy. She just passed away this, uh, when was it? Yeah. July, you said. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Hang on a sec. <laughs> egg salad, Sam. Egg, boiled eggs, and uh, or tuna. Um, did someone just just in the last three days have boiled eggs or tuna fish? I just need to know. <laughs> <laughs> I had salmon. <laughs> okay, but a sandwich. Yes. Yes. Okay. Because it can't just be like a piece of salmon. It has to be like, it's just the way I'm seeing it. It's either boiled eggs that are chopped or it's like fish that's chopped on a sandwich. Because I get the two mixed up sometimes boiled eggs and, and like fish. Yeah. But if you just had that, yeah, you had, you had company. Okay. Oh, and your okay. bread looks dry. I'm so sorry. But I don't know if you did you toast your bread? Yes. Oh, that's why, because your bread looks really dry, and it's just the way they're showing it. Because if it's if it wasn't toasted, I would have said I would have thrown out that sandwich. Just no freaking way I would have eaten bread like that. Right, it was dry. Yeah. <laughs> Did you have tomato juice too? 
Yes, <laughs> I love tomato juice. But they're showing me tomato juice with that. Yeah. No, that's, yeah, no, I love tomato juice. Yeah, but they're just making me feel you just had it. So I don't know if it's, you just had it two days ago. With the sandwich, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's with the sandwich is what I'm seeing. Like it would be like a fish sandwich or an egg salad sandwich if you had a salmon sandwich. I had both of them actually. Oh, yeah. Not the Fine, but I had both of them. Oh yeah, and but it has to have a glass of tomato juice with it. Yeah, it could, it could be V8 too because it's red. It's it's V8 juice. Yeah, because <laughs> it's, it's tomato juice or V8. It's just because it's the thickness I'm seeing because it's showing me. And do you still have that ugly napkin or the ugly napkins or whatever or the ugly tablecloth? <laughs> yes, I do. It's really ugly. <laughs> I'm sorry. Did someone bitch about your tablecloth? <laughs> Did they say it's tacky or something? Yeah, I get comments on it a lot. Well, guess what? Your daughter thinks it's ugly. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> she just so the she is, really she freaking ugly. Me exactly. <laughs> oh, so that's why. Which guess what? She's telling you again. Because like usually people don't complain about tablecloths in my readings. You know. <laughs> I'm really glad you were here today. Thank you very much. To know that my daughter is with her dad. She's okay. She's doing fine, honey. You're going to miss her. Losing a child's harder than losing a husband. I'm sorry. And as much as that was painful for you, and I don't mean to diminish that in any way, no, but no. when you lose a child, you're losing a part of yourself is what you're doing. And that's hard because it's like a piece of you died. But the thing is, you're going to see your daughter again. You're freaking right you are. Okay? Trust me. You will see her. And you need to believe that she's going to be around you. I think every single day, every oh. single day. Yeah, yeah. So I feel really good. I keep on hearing Hank Williams, and I don't know why. Uh, A country western. <laughs> yeah. So I like that. some of my Hank Williams songs. <laughs> oh, do you? Okay, it's not my thing. But anyways, um, just to let you know, someone's playing that, so they must be happy to be around you. Um, the, the shower or something, and I don't know if that's for you or your friend, but there's something wrong with the shower, eh? The shower? The shower. The shower head or something? There was something wrong with mine. Then it got <laughs> you fixed it? Yeah. Okay, yeah, good. Oh, okay. No, no, good, because the thing is that would have driv driven me crazy, so I'm glad you got that done. Um, <laughs> don't worry about her so much. When you talk to her, even inside your head, she hears your mom. She hears everything. You need Thank to give her just a little bit more time before you can feel her. I don't think you're feeling her, and I think that's pissing you off. I'm sorry. Um, but you will start feeling her a little bit more. She went through a lot, your daughter, but she doesn't remember it. You're exactly. remembering it. That makes it hard. But you're going to have to understand that when they cross through like that, they don't have that human ego anymore. Instant body and soul transformation. It doesn't yeah. take 20 minutes to get there. Trust me, your husband was there. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome, sweetie. Don't worry about her. You're going to see her, especially in dreams. If you're feeling a little shitty about your dreams, that's normal at first. It's just we still have an ego. They don't. So even if they look sad, that's our perception of them. Don't don't believe that. She's really happy. All right. Should I see this that I see you Thank you life? very much. Okay, you're welcome. Bye. Thank you for coming on. And I'm so thank sorry, you. sweetie. Abby, thank you so much. And I think that's what needed to happen here. So thank you for, for thinking of your family. Thanks, Jay. Take care, sweetie. Love you. Bye. Bye, Bye ladies. Oh, my God. I'm telling you, she just passed on July 13th. 13th for crying out loud she's already coming through isn't that amazing and they can so understand everything oh my goodness but you guys are great i did say i was going to take one more person here so i'm going to do that on the floor so guys if you have a question here we go um and you know what corey ann you, you could be right that you know, it's not that dead people come through as animals, but they do send these animals 
for messages. And when we look up those animal totems, those animal spirit meanings, it's amazing the messages that we get from them. So be very open minded. And, you know, now green orbs in a picture, I'm going to tell you, Katie, just to let you know, a lot of time green orbs are digital orbs. If there's any type of light source, the orb will be like a sort of like a very greeny color. Those are digital. They are not usually spiritual orbs. Orbs are usually round, they're iridescent, they're different colors. When you enlarge them, sometimes you can see shapes inside of them. If they're perfectly round and green, and they're somewhere at the bottom of the picture on the side or whatever, it's usually a digital orb. So just to let you know that, okay? Uh, let me see. I'm going to go on to um every sweet you know what dogs do come around us quite a bit just to let you know uh from your little maggie don't worry about the dog so much you will see the dog again one day but dogs do really come around quite a bit so i think that's amazing Brittany. i definitely have feeling around you i don't know if it's um September or 9, 18 or 27, but I was feeling that around you. And I don't know if it's um, September, like a birthday anniversary you're passing or the 9th of any month, the 18th of any month or the 27th. So one plus eight is nine, two plus seven is nine. So that's why I mentioned those things, but they do make me feel there's something to do with that around you. Let me see, I'm gonna go see if I can find your comment, Brittany. Can you tell me if there's anything like that around you, sweetie? Birthdays, anniversaries or passings? September or 9 or 18 or 27, and that would be for Brittany. Guys, I'm so excited. I'm going to be doing um, Trusting Your Intuition workshop. And if you haven't already gotten your tickets, you might want to, mediumjlane.com. I am also going to be channeling um, during that time just to kind of provide examples of my own senses and how I transfer and how I talk about these things so that people can um, trust their own intuition. So let me see here. So Brittany, I am looking for your comment, darling. Birthdays, anniversaries, passings, and that would be either for September or 9 of any month, 18 or 27. There's none. Okay, so I guess I'm going to pull a card for you because I'm feeling 9, 18 or 27. 18 is January 1st to the 18th or October 1st to the 18th or August 1st to the 18th. 27 would be February 2nd to the 27th or July 2nd to the 27th. So just to let you know, that could be very possible around that, but I was feeling that around somebody that died very suddenly. They do make me feel that there's something to do with that. Hi there, Lisa from Salt Lake City, Utah. And it's so nice to see people from all the way there. Your dog, Maggie, is okay. Um, Natalie, don't worry about that. Our puppies are always okay on the other side. It's so hard to lose our little fur babies. They're like children to us, you know. So Brittany, let me see and she said something here there's nothing to do with those dates but there is so the thing is you look like you're really young but ask your mom and dad if there's birthdays anniversaries or passings to someone that's died connected to that my grandfather's always around me and he died years before i was born so just let you know that sometimes we're not aware of that but anyways they do make me feel that now they do make me feel that there's trouble brewing so trouble brewing and the card is upside down. So I don't know if there's been difficulties around you or arguments or people not getting along or just really things that have not been going positively around you, but you need to make sure that you change the way you're feeling about certain things to make sure that you're manifesting what it is that you're looking for rather than attracting something negative. So fear tends to hold us back. And when something negative is brewing, we always tend to think of like the terrible outcomes or we tend to think of, oh my God, what's going to happen now? So you need to take that and you need to change it around and make it more of good things brewing and try to think positively what you think the outcome should be. 
And so there's a lot of different outcomes and nothing's impossible. Miracles are always possible, but you need to take change that negative to the positive. And it could be just a situation brewing around you. That's not so great as well. So, you know, if there's nothing really around you, it could be something brewing around you. This card usually for the next three weeks to three months, usually. But the thing is, there's something brewing that's not so great to pay attention. There's something really negative that you're thinking like, awful things around change your attitude and try to think of what you'd like to see happen from that situation rather than what you don't want to happen from that situation Brittany I hope that that helps you a little bit guys I want to thank you so much for being here today I love you guys you're all so amazing I hope you have a great great day and until next week next Tuesday I will see you really really soon join my infinity family at mediumjlane.com if you want I have a show as well here in Sudbury on the 27th of October so excited about that and tickets are on sale at my website at mediumjlane.com take care guys bye bye